Taylor, what's up, man? Thanks for doing this check-in with me. And uh, we've been, well, I guess, about three months now, right? About twelve weeks or so that we've been we've been at this. So right. um, I guess let's just start off. Talk talk to me a little bit about why where you were at because you've been you were on my email list for quite a while before you decided to to join the program. But can you share a little bit about where your business was at when you came in and what was frustrating you and what you're trying to solve for? Yeah, I've been running my business now for about four years, and I think I bought one of your courses when I first started, and it, and it, it kind of gave me a foundation of setting things up and just, you know, kind of just like from zero, right? And then uh, four years later now, uh, kind of I've worked with quite a few different uh, consultants and sales uh, sales page designers and people of that ilk. And I've always uh, been on your email list and I, I've been reading the emails and been like kind of seeing uh, your journey as well, how things have developed over the time. And then uh, I, I, signed up for, I signed up for one of your workshops. You mentioned uh, the, the uh, option to become uh, a client in, inside, of, inside of Leverage Coach. Uh, I joined. And so far, uh, so great. It's been really nice working with you because um, actually having a global perspective like, and like a bird's eye view from someone that's really experienced in business and knowing and knowing how to position yourself and kind of looking beyond just like a fancy sales page or uh, simply just copywriting or video editing there's so much more that goes into taking a business from zero to 100, but even just taking a business from 20K a month to 40K a month. And in the last few months that I've been working with Jason, we added just over uh, $5,000 a month in uh, reoccurring the monthly revenue. So that's been a great plus. I've been stuck around the 20K a month uh, range for the last two and a half years. So it's been nice to break through one of those barriers and add an extra 5K a month in uh, subscription revenue. Was that, the major, at, was that the major struggle when you came into the program was you were like, you were looking at it and, and it was, hey man, I've been stuck at this level for forever and I really want to grow the business, but I'm not really sure how. Because we, we did an entire, we re-engineered kind of the way your business operates to really cater to a um, to to a type of coaching client that would be able to stay with you long term rather than just having this fixed start and end date of a course sale or maybe a cohort or a membership. Um, was that so just to reiterate, was that really what you were looking for as a way to um, grow the business that you hadn't been able to find? Or were you frustrated with the way that you are doing the coaching right now or previously? I think foremost, I was frustrated with working so hard and like trying so many different things and creating new offers and spending lots of money on new sales pages and different funnels and then like changing from this software to that software. And then at the end of the day, like nothing really improved. And then, of course, you know, someone can blame the leads. Someone can blame this or that. But taking the global perspective and kind of stepping back to a higher ledge to, to, to look down at how, you, at how you position yourself, how you have all the products set up and your uh, unique system of the, of the core product and then the stack of like one-time products, I think that gave me a really clear perspective on how I should like run my ship basically. Yeah. And, and like before that point, things were a bit... Um, disorganized. I had like four or five different like one-time products. I had multiple uh, subscriptions. Money was coming in from here and there, but there wasn't really a clear idea of how to scale it. Yeah. 
Yeah. So what was a what was, I I remember you saying something about um, as you started to put it together the client reaction after you re-engineered and restructured the business, the client reaction was pretty good, right? Like everybody kind of got what you were doing and they saw the value in it and it they we had they were they were really excited many of them to even upgrade from where they were at to the new program that you launched. Yeah. Yeah. Based on your on your new structure that we installed adding kind of like a hybrid like one-on-one -on -one service was something that a lot of them wanted and and previously the way things were set up i wasn't able to offer that at at that price point mm -hmm. so i mean basically we doubled the price point change change the positioning and lots of people on my uh, email list that that were already on there uh, we're eager to jump at this new offer. Yeah, it's one of the things I, it's a hard thing for a lot of clients um, when, it, when we start working together is they say, well, hey, let's double the price. And mm -hmm. immediately you get resistance because everybody's been selling at a price and a lot of times it's been struggling to sell at a certain price. But when you, I often ask the question, well, okay, what could we offer? What, how, how good of a result could we promise if we doubled the price or tripled the price of what you were, of what you were charging? And like you said, well, man, if we double the price, well, now I, I can create the bandwidth to do some of the one-on-one -on -one stuff that the client's really looking for. And not only do we get a better price, but we'll hopefully get a better outcome because the people that you're working with now are actually getting some more of that one-on-one -on -one attention between you and the other coaches, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All um, right. Cool. Yeah. Hey, anything else you want to tell anybody? What What? What would you say? Dude, this sounds like such a sales pitch. It really is. I'm just trying to get people to say nice things about me. Um, but what would you recommend to somebody who might be on the fence and thinking, well, man, I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm thinking about this, but, you know, maybe it's a lot of money and I'm not really sure. What would your advice be to them? Well, I can say that I've worked with lots of consultants and um, like so-called marketing experts that have like the fancy sales pitch where they say I, or, or they say that they've worked with some big influencer and they want this big price point some I've worked with some I said like no thanks and you were the only guy that was willing to like do those quick like hour-long calls to figure out a problem and to solve something that that directly is going to uh, lead to more revenue for my business and also create the the system that's going to work in the long run yeah. as opposed to just trying to like squeeze out like the last few drops of the email list but at the same time harm the brand in the long run i think the way that the way that you've worked with me is is improving the 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 authenticity the uh integrity and basically just a service that we can offer to our clients and, 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 and obviously getting them uh, the better results on the back well, end. Well, and to your credit, I mean, you've done an incredible amount of work and you are, I mean, it's not every client that I work with has your, you know, commitment and discipline and, and willingness to just get stuff done. I think one of the reasons we uh, had as much success in this very short period of time is because, man, once you saw the vision and you were on board with the, you know, doing the re the redesign of uh, of the products and how we organized them, man, you guys went right to work and that entire thing was reset up and I mean, you really put in, you put in the hours to bring the vision into a reality and and I think that that is, um, in as far as my world goes, that's the exception to the rule and so, you know, um, I just, I've really enjoyed working with you and I can't wait to see what, you know, the next few months bring in terms of additional revenue and hopefully more free time and uh, better clients, all that stuff. So, but anyway, thanks man, I re appreciate you being here and uh, I'll let you get back to it, but um, thanks so much for sharing your story. Yeah, thank you Jason, all the best.